So I'm here with Dr. Jay Scheid, and we are going to be talking about boxwood blight. Now, I have to say, I, I'm not familiar with it. What, what is specifically is it? Uh, this is a fungal disease that's brand new to North America. We just found it in 2011, and we found it in about three uh, nurseries, wholesale nurseries oh, in wow. Oregon. And that's not so bad because we've got those nurseries on tap to what it is, uh, it, it being that a, a defoliator, it's a leaf spotter, and it defoliates the plants but we've had it occur in a couple of landscapes in the Portland area mm. and also in Coos Bay, which is very concerning because we don't really want this disease to get uh, out and get uh, established in, in sure. our locations. Well, what, what, what are some of the, the keys to look for if, if somebody thinks, oh, I might have this in my garden at home, what should they be looking at? Yeah, we have a couple of diseases that have been around for a long time, but what I want people to understand is if there's some new problem, some new defoliation where they're just not seeing a lot of leaves, their leaves are falling off the stems, they're just bare stems, maybe with some black lesions on them, maybe some of the leaves have some dark lesions on them as well, uh, spots, mm -hmm. uh, that would be a concern and they can take it into uh, either Master Gardener or uh, uh, local county extension office. So because of the concern you have for it, can then I make the leap of logic that there really isn't anything to do for it if you do have it? Uh, yeah, the best thing is just to alert us to it. Uh, you know, sanitation is going to be very important. Picking up those leaves, uh, taking off yeah. the diseased portions of the stem, putting that in the garbage. And I would say we shouldn't compost it then. Uh, yeah, just putting it in the yeah, garbage okay. will be a good, <laughs> good thing to do. Uh, and new plants that you're buying, uh, mm -hmm. rather than just popping it right into the garden automatically, uh, have it off to the side for a month or so and see if it develops any spots or just not. If it does, it. then maybe we got a, a problem, but, uh, and if it's doing just fine, then go ahead and move, uh, plant it, it into the garden. And where, where can viewers go to get more information? Uh, they can get more information at a lot of our websites uh, that we have uh, established uh, for this. There's a PNW Handbook website that we have uh, more information on that. Just look for Boxwood Blight and you'll find a lot. Well, there you have it. So if you think I might have this, go to gardentime.tv. We'll click over to the websites, get all the information. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're welcome.